In this video, I'm going to show you how to place the thermostat on this Ford F-350 with the 7.3 liter power stroke engine. Located on the front of your engine, connected to the upper radiator hose, let's get started. I don't want to drain all the coolant, but I do want to drain a little bit to minimize the mess we make when we take the thermostat housing off and to ease the draining of the coolant, I'm going to remove the coolant expansion tank cap so that air can go in as coolant comes out. Through the driver's side wheel well, you'll see the radiator drain right here and you can use a 19 millimeter wrench or socket to loosen this. Just give it a few turns, have a collection bucket underneath to catch all that coolant. There we go, just let this drain. Don't take this all the way out because it will start shooting straight back if you do. We just wanna let this drain enough so that when we take the thermostat out, a bunch of coolant doesn't dump out and the level is lower than if it were if it was full. If your drain is clogged, take a wire tie or a pick and poke it in there. That'll unclog it and increase the flow of coolant. I know it's not done draining, but this is about as much as I need to drain out of this radiator. So I'm gonna plug this up, snug this down with that 19 millimeter wrench or socket. This is bottomed out, a little bit extra is plenty. There's an O-ring in there that does the sealing, so you don't need to crush it down completely. If anything, if you do that, it will break that plastic plug. Wipe it down so there's no more drippage of coolant. And let's go up top and replace that thermostat. Following the upper radiator hose, it'll lead you right to the thermostat housing. Use an eight millimeter socket and remove all three bolts holding down that housing. Two, you can see out in the front, the other one is in the back. They form a triangle, basically. Unthread all the bolts. Lift up the housing, set it aside, and there's the thermostat. This one's quite stuck, so with the help of a pry bar, I'm gonna gently wiggle it, try to pry it off of here. There we go. All right. And there is the thermostat. Clean off the area and make sure there's no debris or corrosion in the way. There is a little bit around here and looks like someone also put some sealant, which isn't supposed to be there. The gasket is supposed to do the sealing. So I'm gonna take a razor blade and clean all this up. That way the housing can mount properly and then we'll get it back together. Take the new thermostat, slide it down into position. Make sure that gasket gets fully seated. Bring the housing over and drop it down. Start the bolts in. Careful with that one in the back so you don't drop it. Use a magnet if you need to. Get them all bottomed out. I'm gonna to torque these to 15 foot pounds. All right, let's fill it up with coolant. Right here you can see the max line. Refer to the owner's manual for the specified type of coolant. I'm gonna fill it up to here, and then at that point you would start the bleeding process. Once you're done filling it, cap this off and start the bleeding procedure. To bleed the cooling system, turn the engine on, let it warm up, have the heat on high but with the blower on low just so you could feel that there is coolant going through the heater core because if there isn't it wouldn't blow hot air. Once it reaches operating temperature, drive it around if you need to. Make sure that the engine doesn't overheat while you do that of course so keep an eye on that temp gauge but once it does reach operating temperature you can shut it down. Check the coolant level once again. Never open this when it's hot because it is under pressure. At that point you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.